Yo, okay. There's Mega Man for the PlayStation 2. Got 10 games. It's the anniversary collection. 10 games. And there's Xenophobe for the NES. Nintendo Entertainment System. Xenophobe. See, there's my light. I'm wearing my headlight. Or my forehead light. Um, there's Metroid Prime. That's a lot of... That's a lot of um, Metroid Prime for the GameCube. And here's the Atari 2600 games. So you can see them a lot better with this light. If I get it right. So it's... Um, Air Sea Battle. Kegling. Bowling. 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 That's the Latin word for bowling. I learned, learned that on the Flintstones. So kegling, kegling is the Latin word for bowling. 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 And then Demons to Diamonds. Never played that one. Miss Pac Man, Miss Command, Surround, V Olympics, Yars Revenge, and Superman. Superman for the 2600. Atari 2600, Superman. Yeah, that's a badass game. And um, Video Pinball, Street Racer, Space Invaders, Pole Position, Phoenix. Pac-Man, Centipede, Combat, and Asteroids, Asteroids, and then there's my Paris Perfume, and that's Mad Mausolea, Mad Mausolea, my perfume from Paris, and today is 8-8-2015, see that took less than two minutes. I'll take the light off because I don't need it. Turn that off. Put that over here. Okay. Now, here I am to save the day. Oh, that's 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 Mickey Mouse or uh, Mighty Mouse. That's Mighty Mouse. That's not Superman. Superman ought to have something like that. Here I am to save the day. But he can jump tall buildings and sing a bomb. He can outrun locomotives. And uh, bullets don't hurt him. I can't go through the whole thing. I don't know what it is. I can never remember none of that shit. But uh, Superman for the Atari 2600 is the best game ever of any system. It's got a, it's like a puzzle game because when the robbers blow up the bridge, it goes in three different sections all throughout Metrop Metropolis City, which is 21 screens um, plus uh, five screens for the for the um, subway. The only way you can get into the subway is if you go through the three. The three um, phone booths, and then the one phone booth is the only phone booth you can change from Clark Kent to Superman and Superman to Clark Kent. That's the only, you know, that's, that's the one by the bridge. Because you got the phone booth that you do that and you change in, and then the next screen is the bridge. And the bridge, it'll be a bridge site after after the, the robbers blow it up, and there's three pieces of br the bridge that fly all throughout the city. And you got to assemble it, so it's, so it's a puzzle game. That's a puzzle game. And then it's an a I think action game. I'd say action because you gotta you gotta get to six robbers and put them all in jail, and uh, that's that's one of the 21 screens is a jail screen. So you gotta get to six robbers and the fat the fat little there's there's um six slashes, five skinny slashes, and then there's one fat sla slash and that's Lex Luthor, the one that has a like a helicopter and he's flying around all the time. He's the hardest to get because he's flying in the air. All the other ones walk. One one carries gun and and then just I call them purpley. I think there's um, let's see purpley and greeny and um, maybe I'm, I'm not sure what they all are. Purple. I'm not the and, purple and greeny, purpley and greeny and um, then Lex Luthor and then the other three. But anyway. You get Atari 2600, you'll never regret it if you watch my video first and see how to play it because it, it is complicated. It's a complicated game. You can't just pick the cartridge up and start. I mean, you can because that's what I did. I never. I don't think I ever read the instructions on it, but it was uh, through a massive, you know, I played it all every day with this guy that used to live next door to me. We used to get, on, we used to get off on that shit playing Atari 2600 Superman, you know, and seeing how fast we can do it in, see if we can beat who. Uh, I had the record for a while at uh, 45 seconds. I seen him do it in 34 seconds, so 11 seconds or less than me. 
that, that's like awesome. That's like awesome. That's not just good. That's awesome. 34 seconds to put six robbers in jail, build a bridge, and walk from your phone booth because you got change in the uh, car can. Walk over to the Macharapas building um, with the phone booth. Walk in that and game's over. 30. You did it in 34 seconds. That's 34. I did it in 45. I did it in 45 seconds was damn good. That was, but that was over a decade ago. That was quite a while ago since I did that, so I'm relearning the game. Because if I don't do something for a couple of days, <laughs> I'm all messed up. But anyway, get Atari 2600 Superman. It's a badass game. I've seen, I've seen uh, the other, the arcade version of uh, Superman. And that that's like a, that's like a Contra of uh, the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. It's, it's like Contra. It's played like Contra. It's, it's a pretty badass game, too. I like it. I'd love to get that game. That's that's a bad because of the graphics and shit on it. It's great. And you're fighting. You know, you're fighting all the time. And you're, you, you know, using Superman punches and, you know, stuff like that. And it is, it's a great game. The arcade version of Superman. Shh, that's a great game. And um, I'd like to get that game. I, well, I'll have that game. But, um. Atari 2600 is a very basic game, yeah. For 8-bit system. For 8-bit system, that's a fucking awesome game. I mean, that's the... I'm talking, I played a lot of games. I, I, I had, like, 28 systems. 28, you know, gaming systems with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cartridges. I think probably four or 500 cartridges. And, like, 300, 300 were Atari. So I'm the Atari man. <laughs> but, um... That's like the best game I ever, you know, Superman on Atari 2600, that's like the best game ever. And they're knocking on YouTube. There's two or three people saying, oh, this is so crappy. I'm shutting it off. It's just an Atari game. It's just a silly little, it's, they're, they're, they're the ones silly and stupid. They're, they're stupid. They don't know what they're doing and they should be fired. They shouldn't even, they shouldn't even be playing that game. Why play the game if, right off the get-go, that guy, one of the guys says, Oh, Atari, this is just, you know, crappy old system anyway. It's the best system ever. Atari 2600? Pfft. It's the best system ever. That's why it has so many damn cartridges. But anyway, so many other people, even ColecoVision, they, they, they have an extent, uh, um, expansion model which you can play the Atari games on. Plus there's, shit, I'd say, I say it's probably 30, 40, um, third, third um, party, <coughs> 30, third party, <clears throat> like um, uh, Activision, like third party, third party um, in television, um, different active uh, third third parties that that make Atari games. There's like probably thirty or forty of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you know, you gonna have thirty or forty different, you know, third party, third parties making video games for for a system that's. This guy's saying, oh, this ain't, you know, this is junky system. You can have 30 or 40, that means 30 or 40 companies are saying, you know, that this, this is the ultimate system. Atari 2600, and it was. And still, hell, you, it's hard to get. Because it's getting less and less of them. And uh, what, they, what they do is get a, it's called flashback, which is okay. I'd buy it like a cartridge. I'd buy, if I was to buy a flashback system... That means it's got, you know, like a hundred, let's see, a hundred and, shit, god darn it, got a hundred and, say, hundred and forty or fifty games on it. It's got a hundred and forty, fifty games on it. It's called the Flashback System. Uh, Flashback 5, I think it is, it has, it has, uh, hundred fifty games on it. Before that, it's like sixty games or something. Uh, it, it went, it's got Flashback, then Flashback 1, Flashback 2, Flashback 3, Flashback 4, Flashback 5. The only reason I'd get one of those is I'd treat it like a cart getting a cartridge. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't substitute that for Atari at all. Because none of them have Superman on it. That's one reason. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I think they have Miniature Golf. Miniature Golf is the next one I want to get. If I get just one cartridge, I want to get Miniature Golf. Because that's a badass. That's badass, too. It's, it's very basic. It's got a little square ball. Very basic. You got a paddle. It goes chink, like that. You put it like way over here. And chink, like that. And ding, 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 ding. Hole one. It's fun to find where to, where to place that paddle. How far away, you know, for the, for the speed. Because the farther away you are, the harder it hits it. So, and, and then the angle of it, I just like that. That's, that's like playing pool, you know, it's, but, but it's um, called miniature golf. It's cool. I'm, I'm going to get miniature golf for Atari 2600. That's the next best game I like. Not, not the next. Uh, I like Space Invaders, I think, next. And then Atari 2600 and then bowling. You know, or, or, you know, there's so many games I like. It's hard to pinpoint them in the, in the order I like them. Other than Superman, Superman is the ultimate best game for Atari 2600, as far as I'm concerned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. God, that didn't feel like 70. I had that door open. I had the uh, last door open, and hell, I thought it was in the 60s. Didn't feel like 70 something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold on, I forgot to. Uh, I got so involved in talking about Atari 2600 because it's an awesome game, but. Um, Got to say this, um, my, you know what I was saying, my, my video game site name is Funkadelic Video Game Technology, free to join, free to play, free to get paid dot com. Everybody will know that, everybody will know my site when I start paying real money to people, everybody, I mean we're talking hundreds of thousands to millions throughout the world, I want mine worldwide, and uh, I want to be all up it so Instead of like 20 bucks for first place, it'll be like $200 for first first place and slightly lower than slightly lower than slightly lower for from one to 20 place. I'd love to pay someone $200 for first place. That'd be cool. You know? And then I want to pay it more often. I'm going to start off probably paying every once a month because you know, I, I'm, I've never been a rich person. I mean, I've never been you know, with a lot of money. Um, like, like a Donald Trump. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. Um, vote for the big D, vote for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the best president, or person for 2016 presidency. So vote for the big D, vote for Donald Trump. And uh, I've never been a Donald Trump, but if I was a Donald Trump, I'd have, a, I'd have that up and running right now. That video game. But right now, right now I'm looking for um, uh, web, a web uh, designer, web designer. I'm looking for uh, video game makers, you know, like get three or four or five or ten of them and um, video game makers for, for my website and uh, web designer to make my website great and then uh, browser. I, actually, the first thing I need is a, is a website builder. Second thing I need is a, um, the, yeah, the video game makers and then the third and the third thing I need is a browser, so because I want m my view game site to have only that browser to be able to join my view game site, they must they must use that browser to join my view game site or play and get paid. And they they have to have that browser. It's going to be a free br browser, but it, it has to be that browser because I want to have ads on that browser too. Ads on it, two or three different places on it have ads. And uh, I want you to be able to own that and have it and use it for browsing the web if you want, or you can use some other browser. But I want to make this browser so it'll go everywhere on the web. You know, where I got, I've been using Google Chrome, I've been using um, Opera, I've been using, uh, I don't use Internet Explorer because shit, you can't, it won't work on half the sites. And, um, 
And then uh, Google Chrome don't work on some of the sites, and neither does Opera. Opera doesn't. So I use I use Opera on most sites, and then I use Google, Google Chrome to um, um, read my email, treat my email, and then um, I was using I was using uh, the one from Apple, the, that one from Apple, but that kind of failed on a few sites. I'm going screw it. I just use I just use Opera for most. Most most the uh, sites like YouTube and and uh, the other sites and uh, Craigslist and eBay and uh, Amazon like that. But uh, I use Opera for that. And then um, for to read Opera doesn't work very well on, on YouTube. Man, it just kept pissing me off. It kept like not not responding. And so so does so does uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, not responding all the time. I on YouTube, or not YouTube, not YouTube, um, Yahoo, Yahoo Mail, man, it's hard to get a browser to work on Yahoo Mail, and the Internet Explorer, I tried that, and it wouldn't even fucking load it, so, yeah, I'm not in Internet Explorer, I don't have it, it's loaded on there somewhere, I guess, but, oh well, you know what they say, same time, same channel, see then, oh, same bat time, same bat channel. See you then.